what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be playing the root of nightmares raid in destiny 2 and i will be showing you how to do each encounter so without further ado let's get right to the video okay so for the first encounter we are going to be dealing with light orbs so the whole raid is going to be about light and darkness but we'll talk about that later but up for this encounter here it's going to be about connecting the light orbs together so what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to press the first one we're going to hit the first one with either your melee or your gun you do that you go and it's going to show you a, a line that shows you where to go to the next orb so then you'll see right there there's the next orb there then after that we're going to go to that next orb you're going to see something that says field of light and when you have that that means you know you have the light buff on so then you'll go to the next one you'll put the field of light into the second one and then that second one's going to show you where the next orb is going to be so you'll see the line there it's going to show you where the next orb is going to be you have to go back to get the field of light because once you do it you once you put the field of light into the into the orb it's going to remove it off of you so then you have to go back to that first first uh field of light orb the one that's shining and you're going to be able to do that and repeat the process okay so on this part there's going to be four different sections to be able to complete this entire thing so you're going to be able to do, be able to do all uh, all the orbs on the four sections which equals to 22 orbs if you're doing it solo which is what we did then i all i did was i just did uh the orbs while my team fought uh, the enemies and uh got rid of the ads now the important part to this too is going to be something that's going to be called sweeping terror now that's going to be nezarek using his blast damage to be able to wipe us and it's going to be a timer on it to to extend our timer we're going to have to um there's going to be two scions that pop up on this part and which do not like normally you go up and you, you melee the two scions and when you do that it's going to spawn a tormentor and the tormentors is what extends our duration for the sweeping terror so that way we don't get wiped so once you kill the tormentor then it extends our time and that's how this encounter works so recap on the encounter what you gotta do you take the orb you take the field of light you pass the field of light and connect all the orbs together then while that's happening the other people are killing ads and they're killing the scions to be able to spawn the tormentor which will extend our sweeping terror duration so that is what this encounter is so i'll let you have a take a, a quick look at how we did it <clears throat> excuse me Scions are dead, my mech is spawning. Okay. On the left. Barrier up top. Okay. I got him. Shoot up. Alright, last one. Okay. Well done. Easy, easy. Yay, nice. well, we did. Oh, orbs. Okay, so to the second encounter. So on this encounter, there's going to be three floors. We're trying to get to the, the third floor at the very top. So how this one works is this is where we're going to be adding the dark side, which is going to be flux of darkness. So the same thing we did on the first encounter with field of light, we're going to do with the flux of darkness. Now there's going to be two sides now. There's going to be a dark side and a light side. Split your team up into threes and you're gonna have a runner on both sides. And if you, what we did was we had one runner on both sides, which we did, we went back and forth there, but you can do it however you wanna do. I'm just gonna tell you how it go, how this encounter goes. So the same thing we did on the first one, we're gonna hit the orb. Once we hit the orb, there's going, it's going to show us where the next one is on that side, whether you're on dark side or on light side. Now how this works is it's going to be every other side. So what that means is once I hit this light, I'm going to have to use this transporter here by hitting, you're going to be hitting this little pyramid thing here, which is going to launch you on the other side. Once it launches you on the other side, 
you're going to go over there and you're going to see the orb that you have to click. So once you click that, then you have to take yourself and go back all the way on the other side to where your side was. And then you have to regain the field of light buff. Now, it's going to be happening on every other one. So it's going to be the first one. I go to the other side. The second time I come back, it's going to be on my side. Next time, the other side. Next time, my side. And it's going to continue that same process back and forth between the light and the darkness all the way up to the third floor so that's the first pattern of how we get the light the light buff done since you've seen in the first one nothing changes there you'll know it the difference is here we are times so you have to pick your fastest runners and people and it will take some time because you got to get to know where all the nodes are i've been calling them orbs this whole time but they're also they're called nodes but if you uh, got to get your team whoever is fast at doing it because you have a minute um, and it's called imminent, imminent expulsion and it has a timer on it as well once that timer fails this thing will do the most weirdest and scariest thing that'll kind of make you jump out when you're about to die so i'm not going to spoil that for you you guys find out if you don't do it in time but you will go launching but um so after that after we do that there's going to be, you have to coordinate with your teammates. So the other two teammates are doing ads and stuff like that. So now there are going to become Cabal Colossus and Lieutenants and stuff like that, that are going to have a shield on them. The only way for your teammates to be able to shoot and kill those guys is that they would have to have either the field of light buff for the, for the light side, or they're gonna have to have the flux of darkness buff for the dark side and they will be able to have to have that to be able to shoot them so how we did it was once i came back i told my teammates i'm coming back we all went there i shot i shot the uh the orb the node for the field of light which gives everybody in that circle the field of light and then my two teammates were able to attack and kill the lieutenants and the colossus and stuff like that so in the uh barrier champions there will be a barrier champion here so to make sure you have your barrier out uh, your barrier stuff for that and be able to kill them because they're going to have the shields with that on so that's how you do the enemy part for that and it is definitely time and you just have to be as fast as you can so for this encounter here what you're going to do is you're going to grab the orb either either or you're going to split the team up into threes three on each side you're going to have either the flux of darkness side or you're going to have the field of light side going to do the exact same thing we did in the first encounter no matter if you're on the dark or the light side you're going to swap back and forth um, between the two runners or or three runners or two runners however many runners you want to have to make it easier for your team we did it with one but you're going to flop back and forth and then one, when you come back make sure you tell your teammates who are over there fighting that you're coming back so that way every single time you come back you have to receive that field of light buff or that flux of darkness buff to be able to, for your teammates to be able to kill those um those ads the lieutenants the, the barrier champions that are going to be shielded as well as you getting the buff to be able to continue linking each of the nodes do that in fast succession before imminent of expulsion happens every time you do a floor you you'll you launch you'll go to the end of that 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 platform you'll be launched up to the second floor do that floor launched up to the third floor and once you get to the third floor that'll be it for this encounter so let's show let me show you guys how we did it okay. yes yep mm -hmm. that's a wall I'm gonna just throw it down. I'll get it later, but the last one. Alright, I'm here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, face. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, damn. Go buff. ahead and get ready to stun him. Alright, go ahead. Oh, crap. Alright, I'm coming back again. I think it's a thing again. I finished. He's fine. Come back over now. Is it third oh, one? Yeah, yeah it's the third one. one. Alright, come get the buff. Last buff. He's coming. Alright, got it. Got the buff, you can kill him. Uh, I'm dead. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So I'm glad. 
glad I didn't. Oh God! What the? Oh no! Oh, what no. was that? You guys okay? Oh, come in, I'm coming. We're fine. Okay. We're fine. We're okay. fine. Okay. 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 Oh, we still gotta go over there anyway for the thing. Yeah, yeah we still do. We're so. Uh, I gotta get the buff for that. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah. Yes. Goodness yes. gracious. Oh. Yep, all time. Never failed. That was a... <laughs> that end was a little bit of... <laughs> Alright, so once you finish the second encounter, uh, you're gonna go through some things and you're gonna get to the jumping part, which is in every single raid. So, real quick, this will be a quick one to let you guys know how to do the jumping part. Now, the good news about the jumping part is that if your team dies, it's okay, you can respawn. It's not a darkness, uh, it consumes you kind of a encounter, so you guys won't just like wipe completely if everybody died. You can just res yourself up or someone can res you. So, other than that, it's going to be the same kind of thing. It's going to be light and dark all on the field as you're jumping. And now the reason for this is because Nezarak is going to be sitting there um, trying to wipe you with his explosion. He's going to be doing a quick blast. You'll hear him yell. And once he yells, you're going to see, you're going to hear this wave coming at you. It's going to be like, this. it's going to look like darkness wave. So in order to be able to survive that while we're doing the jumping part, so you're going to be doing the jumping part while he's trying to kill you. To be able to survive that is you're gonna have to hit the light orb have the light buff on you now only one person needs to have it everybody doesn't need to have it but it, you know it's okay if everybody does have it then you're gonna go to the dark the dark node and then once you hit the when you gotta hit the light one and deposit it into the dark node once you do that you're gonna get darkness refuge and that is going to be able to protect you from Nezarex blast as you do the jumping puzzle uh, it's, it's an easy jumping puzzle you're gonna have to get used to where everything is it's gonna be the teleporters that will launch you from here and there but once you get it down then you'll know you got to be able to find the nodes that are throughout the place but like i said if you die it's okay you can just rush yourself very quickly now once you hit that darkness refuge be know that you only have 14 seconds of that um buff so if you get it early and then he does it a little after and you're like wait i had the buff on i thought i had the buff on the buff does go away after 14 seconds so you gotta have to time that as well but once you guys get used to it you'll understand it so that's how you do the jumping part encounter <laughs> no more darkness refuge hello you got it <laughs> yeah i got it you gotta keep refreshing it but you gotta come up here i have my super so apparently it doesn't count to throw a hammer at it. All right. It's all, all right. If we all go, we'll open the door now. We should be able to make it. Nine. Eight, long stairs. Seven, six, right. Five, four, three, two, darkness. one. It's up here, darkness. Okay. Here. I'm coming. Okay, we okay. good. Um. Uh, what? what the heck? Nobody what happened? <laughs> we didn't have the darkness. Uh, okay, so we have made it to the third encounter, the macrocosm, with the homie Zoark, explicator of planets. This encounter right here, guys, it's 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 really ad heavy, really really ad heavy. So we're gonna take we're gonna take it a little bit and break it down for you guys so you can be able to understand a little bit better. So there will be a light and dark side, um, and the whole point is to we're gonna be there's going to be a planet. There's gonna be on the light side. There's gonna be a dark planet that we need to switch and swap over to the other side, and on the dark side is gonna be a light planet that they need to swap over to our side. There are going to be four plates. So. This this fight here is in, it's intense. Um, I would suggest um, this. Uh, you put four people. Uh, it's going to be one person on each plate. Two people in the middle to clear help clear the ads because the ads do get crazy. The scions are definitely the ones you need to take control of. So if um, you have your two best or however you want to do it, but I'm just telling you how we did it. But if you have your two like one of your best like ad clearing people or who's ever comfortable clearing ads easily. They should definitely be in the middle because it's going to be rough okay so let's look at the diagram so right now as you can see here we have the light side which 
we num we named our side there's going to be six planets on each side so with those planets uh, on the light side there's going to be we named it one two three four five six and then we just mirrored them for the right for the dark side which will be one two three four five six and then you can see here that's where the boss is and then on the left the right the mid okay so how is this going to work on this first section we're going to be ads are going to spawn once the ads spawn there is going to be a honored phalanx you kill the honored phalanx with a bunch of um scions that pop up once that person kills the honored phalanx a honor centurion will pop up now i don't know if the phalanx triggers the honor centurion because sometimes i've seen the centurion up and with the uh phalanx still being up too because i think there's a second phalanx but either way once once the honored centurion pops up you the, per, the people who are doing the ads in the middle they're going to kill that honor centurion once they kill that honor centurion they want to make sure they let the person know so like i was doing the light side so i went up there i killed my honor centurion i let my people on the light side know i just killed my honor centurion the reason i let them know that is because a lieutenant is going to come up a, a lieutenant is going to pop up on their plate on, on their plates and what that is going to do is they have to kill their lieutenant so once they kill their lieutenant they're going to get something called planetary insight now when that happens it's going to show them on their plate on their side which planet has the dark planet on on their side so for instance um if say on we're going to see on one two three right here if we have if the dark planet is three that person is going to call on that plate and say hey the dark planet is three and what that does is the we, how we did it was the light the bottom the bottom ones which we are calling one two three and and, and then the tops are what we're calling four five six so on the bottom light side and on the bottom dark side both of them the person will call three the person on the dark side is going through the exact same thing they do the same thing with their phalanx they call out and then on their side they're going to have a light a light planet that pops up so let's say light side says mines is three for the dark planet dark side says mines is two for the light planet what they're going to do they communicate with each other they're now what they're going to do is once that happens and the same thing with the four and five and six they're going to be doing the same kind of thing but once that happens we, there's going to be something called planetary shift now, when planetary shift comes, anybody that makes it so that you can move a planet. So once that happens, they're gonna take their planet from planetary shift because it's gonna be like something where you can pick up the, the planet. Um, so you'll be able to, so light side will pick up three and then dark side will pick up two. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna go to the other side and light side is gonna deposit their dark planet into twos and dark is going to deposit their light planet into three so the whole point is we're trying to make it so that all the light planets are on the left side and all the dark planets are on the right side once that is complete both sides are doing it just like how the bottom side did it the top side is doing the same thing once that is completed which only takes one time one switch if you guys we did it in uh we did it in fours we didn't do it we didn't split it up so what we did was we did the top and bottom and top and bottom they would talk to each other and then they would switch their planets once all the four planets have been switched because that's what it is all together two on the dark side and then two on the light side once they've been switched then we're gonna it's gonna say index planets reveal themselves once it says that you have completed that part and you want to get ready for the next part of this. So let me show you how this part works. That's I'm trying to get on my side as well. Okay. All right, since that's minus five. Minus four. All right, Soraya, uh, it's two for you, Soraya. Right, okay. three. Grabbing two. Going to three. You said it was. You said it was four, right? Correct. And what was yours again? Minus five. Okay. Good Goodness. Oh, Thank Lord, you for the a boost. lot of stuff over here. <laughs> okay, so once we do that and the index plans reveal themselves, that means you have done things correctly. 
and you want to get ready for the next phase of this part so what's going to happen is on this part is we're going to go through the same exact thing we're going to kill a phalanx is going to pop out we're going to go ahead and kill the honored centurion and then once the honor centurion comes out we're going to kill the lieutenant now on this part here once you kill the lieutenant it's going to be the same kind of thing they're going to get planet insight but for this one is now we're going to be focused on the left right and middle here so what that means is once that happens you're going to see there's going to be two planets either going to be two dark or two light that are going to pop up in the middle plus either one light or one dark so what that does is it's going to show us in the middle what planets we need to deposit into the middle so for instance if it says left and right is dark we're going to take two dark planets from the right side any dark planet because we already put all of them over there so um anybody on the right side can just take any two planets any two dark planets and then they're going to put it in left and right the same one for the light side we're going to take any light planet there you don't have you can pick any one and we're going to put it in the middle once we do that that is going to complete that process and then we're going to get ready for damage phase so once we're in damage phase you're going to see um zoark he's going to glow a certain color so he's either going to glow light or he's going to glow dark and when he glows say so if he glows dark it's indicating that we need to step on the dark plate um that we put the dark planet on the plant the plates in the middle will glow so let's just say since we did left and right and he's going to glow dark we're going to make in our head that we're going to go left and then his next one is going to be light so then we're going to go mid and then we're going to go to the right that will be the rotation of damage so you go on you step on the plate you're able to do damage to him you do your damage to him then he's going to glow a different color then you're going to go to the mid do damage to him and then he's going to go back to the dark the good news is you do not have to stay on the plate you can touch the buff and then shoot him you do have a timer on the buff that it will go away but the damage to each of these plates are so fast that you will not run out of the buff i mean we haven't ran out of the buff he would always be immune before our buff would be over so and then you just repeat that pro and then you do that and then you repeat that process until you kill him okay. just here's rift divide our time oh. uh, don't put everything in well i guess you have to put a little bit of Start? I don't know actually. Uh, Light on middle, left and right middle. Left. Let's start in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Watch out for everybody. Alright, he's on you, Thor. Okay. Yep. You can go. Okay. Why are you on the ground? <laughs> he's always on the ground. Alright. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Okay, remember, you have to Wait. step back into whatever yep, we he do is. have to step back into it. He's the. I'll do the what middle first. Or whatever he does, I guess. Okay. Uh, was middle. Was it the middle? It was anywhere. Yeah, it, it, was it, was it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay, so now that we did that, we are at the final encounter. Nezarak, final god of pain, aka the jumpy boy. But yeah, so we have made it here. This encounter right here, it's pretty it's pretty cool. I enjoy it. All right, so this is how it works. It's gonna be same kind of thing, light, dark side. On the left side of the map is going to be the light side nodes. On the right side of the map is gonna be the right side nodes. This is gonna play out exactly how we did in the first encounter where you see me go and hit the node, follow to the next connection, hit that node, come back, pick up the field of light, and hit that no and then go to the next node and hit that node we're connecting all the nodes now the dark side is going to be doing the same kind of thing at this point you already know how to do this because we've been doing it throughout the entire raid and you, you guys should know what you're doing by now so you both you're gonna you're gonna get two teams of three the same kind of two teams of three the difference on this one is it's going to be you're gonna have centurions that pop up and they're gonna pop up on each side so left middle and right side um you just have ad clearers do that while they're runners now we did one runner on each side um but it does help if you we did find out a little later that if you have two people to help 
start the running, then it'll make it go quicker. Because the reason I say this is because we have one minute to get both the light and dark nodes done before he wipes us. Now, there is a way to make it so he doesn't wipe us if our if your team can't get it done in time. So that being so, how we do that? Okay. So once Neza, once Nezarak is up, you're gonna see that he has glowing shoulders. You wanna be able to pop those shoulders out, either the left side or the right side, um, using a sniper or anything that's, anything that's strong enough to be able to pop his shoulders. Once you pop both shoulders, there's going to be a light that um, kind of emits from his shoulders. It's either gonna be a dark color or it's gonna be a light color. So if his shoulders glow dark, the person on the light side has to get the field of light buff and put it over to the dark side so we can get the darkness refuge buff that we did in the jumping puzzle so that way when he wipes us when he does his um yell it won't destroy us and then if it glows light then that means the person on the dark side has to go and get the buff for us on and hit the light side's note you will know by his glowing white um butterfly feather uh back or whatever you want to call it his his back will glow white when it starts glowing white you want your entire team to go over to that buff side but when he does yell it'll make it so you have the darkness refuge buff on and he won't wipe the team so let's look at an example of this all right shoot his balls i mean shoot the balls oh god huh? <laughs> Wait, oh. oh wow hold on <laughs> No, she's right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, Soraya. We gotta, we gotta go to Soraya, right? For the protection. Oh, yep. I already did it. Okay, yep. got it. You gotta go to it. my right side, here. dark side. All right, here it is. Oh, God, he's gonna put Thank me you. away from it. Wow. That's, like, that's just toxic. Oh, my God. Also, I forgot to mention, his chest will also have a place where you can shoot. So the person in the middle, which was me, I shot his chest. That draws aggro to that person. So if you want to uh, have aggro of the boss, you shoot him in the chest. Now also, there's going to be a move where he does when he's going to be bumping everybody up. And can he'll continually keep bumping people up, bumping people up. And you'll notice it from the purple light that surrounds you. You have to hit his chest to stun him out of it. And here was it look like. It's you. Ah, oh, leave me alone. No. It's you. Oh, what the hell? You. Okay, so now that we got all that done, it's time for damage phase. So on damage phase, once both sides are completed, the the dark node and the light node, then we're able to damage Nezarek. Nezarek. So now after that, once we do that, he is going to emit this darkness light that's going to shine down on him, and that's going to make us be able to damage him. Uh, we just got on top of a plate and was able to do it because it made it much easier because for some reason he can't slam on top of a plate when you're on the plate if you're down below he's going to be debuffing you he's going to be throwing you all over the place and it kind of makes it a little annoying to do the damage on him so we got on the plate to do damage on him and this is an example of what we did oh, no, no, the last one is done. The last one is done. everybody get on on plate oh you, you just, i'm putting mine first okay you just did the i thing. was gonna say you did, did the thing. thing thank you I'm like crouching here, in the front so people can throw rockets. Yeah, I'm in the front trunk too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Here we go. He's immune. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. And now, 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 now. No, 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 no. Everything you got. Oh, and then I, I run out of ammo at that moment. That's perfect, actually. Right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> GG's. GG's. Okay, there you have it. Root of Nightmares complete. Congratulations to all of you guys who've completed. Hope this guide helped you guys out on how to do each encounter. Thank you guys for the support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for the next time I have even more videos coming up on Destiny or any other game. Till the next time, fam. I'll holla at y'all later.